Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the NECA Robocop with Spring Loaded Holster. That's right, the future of law enforcement gets a brand new action figure release from NECA with a cool added action feature that I know a lot of fans have been very excited to check out. So let's take a look at this guy and see exactly how that feature works. Spring-loaded holster Robocop comes in the same style clamshell packaging that we come to expect from NECA toys and all of their action figures. It's got the Robocop logo up at the top, and fully features the figure within the blister, with a little sticker on the front letting us know that he features that spring-loaded holster. The back of the package is pretty simple in design, just has some cool elements from the Robocop movie, and then on the lower portion has the instructions on how to work that holster. Alright, so let's take a look at Robocop outside of his packaging. Now, if you've picked up any of NECA's Robocop figures in the past, you pretty much know what to expect as far as his sculpt and paint job go, but I'm here to tell you that they are still incredibly done on this figure. The sculpt is really great, does a fantastic job of capturing the look of the character right out of the film. Even though his mouth is the only human element showing on the figure, the sculpt there is incredible and does a great job of capturing the actor's likeness even if it's just his lips you got some great little details sculpted all around inside the armor there and even have small printed numbers on there on his leg and his helmet stating OCP police 001 The paint job is also really well done. The blacks that are used on there are of a glossy nature, so they've got a nice shine to them. And then the armor itself has a really great metallic shine to it. It's that very light blue, but it's got a bit of a pearlescent gloss to it. So when you hold it in certain light, it has a great reflective nature. Now again, if you've picked up any of the NECA Robocops in the past, you already know what to expect for articulation, but let's take a look at it anyway. The head is able to swivel both left and right and slightly move up and down. You've got hinge-like joints on the shoulders there, so they move outwards, forwards, and backwards. Single joints at the elbows, a swivel at the wrist at the glove cut there, a bit of a rocker in the torso, a swivel at the waist. You got those same type of hinge joints there that allow for a good range of motion on the legs moving forwards and backwards, though the way they're sculpted do kind of prevent them a little bit from moving far outwards. You have single joints at the knees, and then regular ankle joints, and which I always think is really cool on NECA's Robocops, the little pistons that are attached to the back of his legs there actually do function when you move the ankles up and down, so it's a very cool little touch. Alright, so now let's get to what you really want to see on here, the spring-loaded holster. As you'll notice, there's a small little button that's on the back of his left thigh. All you have to do to activate this action feature is press that lever up. When you do that, it pops open, revealing his gun inside of his thigh. You can pop the gun off pretty easily, it's not too hard to get it out, and then it can be fit in his right hand, which is sculpted with a trigger finger meant to hold the gun. Now when you want to close the leg back up, you can choose to either put the gun back in there or not. The gun pops back in the little spot and fits nice and firm. And then the only thing you have to do to shut it is press the front panel. Don't press the side panel because that closes automatically. So just by pressing in the front panel, the whole thing closes back together and latches shut. The whole thing holds very tightly, so I haven't had any problems with it accidentally springing open or anything like that. It seems to function very well, so it's a very cool, very well-working action feature. Now, in addition to the gun, Robocop also has the option to interchange his right hand, so you can just pop that off, and you can see there's just a large peg underneath there, and in its place, you can pop on the closed-fisted right hand, which has the data spike on it. Mm -hmm. 
So there you go, guys. There's a look at the brand new NECA RoboCop with spring-loaded gun holster. Overall, it's a very nice figure. It still has a great sculpt and a really nice paint job that does a great job of capturing the look of RoboCop from the films. And I really do love the added spring-loaded holster feature. It's an action feature that works really well. And I think this is going to be something that a lot of RoboCop fans will really like adding to their collection, even if they already have the regular release of RoboCop. So this brand new RoboCop action figure should be hitting stores soon, so happy hunting! And until next time. Thank you.